God is calling for his children to get some order in their lives. This was a personal message for me. I was trying to get some work done yesterday and everything you could imagine was going wrong. I was getting frustrated and God dropped a word on me. He said, you're out of order. And I already knew exactly what he meant. This wasn't the first time he's told me this. He told me the reason why it was like you're always going through the same cycles because you are out of order. You're skipping steps or you're trying to, but it's only taking you back to where you were and maybe in a, in a worse position. I need you to listen to me. I need you to be obedient. That way you're not making the same mistakes over and over and over again because I want to bless you. <laughs> I'm trying to bless you, but you won't allow me to. And I've said this before, sometimes we block our own blessings and we don't even realize that we're doing it. After that, I stopped what I was doing and I was like, I hear you, God, I'm listening. God just started speaking to me. I'll get a pen and paper, I'll pray, and I'll just let God speak to me and I'll write down what he says. And so I did this yesterday. I gave me a lot of personal messages and it was amazing. I cried, like it was so good. God was just dropping so many words for me. They were very personal. And that's something that I'll definitely just keep between me and God. So nothing I'm gonna share. But God did tell me, he said, this is not just for you. This is for other people. So. I am on here being obedient and I want to share what he gave for the rest of his children. I wrote down what he wanted me to share with you all. He said, when you feel stuck or frustrated with something, it's because you're doing it out of order. Guys, I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know what your goals are, but make sure you're praying about everything. Make sure you're in alignment with God. That's first thing but also make sure you're taking the proper steps and you're not trying to rush it and go before God. The enemy also knows your breakthroughs are coming and he wants you to give up and go back to your old ways. When you're on the brink of a breakthrough, so many things are gonna come at you. Like it can come all at once, it can come in little boop, boop, boop. He also said, when you seek me, you will find everything you need. I'm gonna repeat it. When you seek me, you will find everything you need. Come to God wherever you're at in life. He's not waiting for you to be perfect. Come to God, especially if you're confused and you feel like you're stuck. Go to God about everything. I'm ready to pour blessings into your life. Keep praying and listening to my voice. This is something he really wanted me to make clear for his children because some of us are having trouble deciphering our own voices, the enemy, in his voice. My voice is gentle and easy to hear. I won't confuse you. You have free will to do whatever you want, but if you obey my commands, I will bless you with abundance so you can pour into others. God is ready to bless you. Let him bless you. Get, ask him to order your steps. Get your stuff in order. Do it in order. Stop trying to skip skip the line chop stop trying to skip the line and this is for me too these are very simple things but sometimes we make our lives harder than what they have to be if you feel defeated it's okay pray about it ask god to help you seek god for everything he loves you and i wanted to follow this up with scripture go to jeremiah 29 11. we're gonna read verses 11 through 13 of my bible for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future then you will call upon me and come to pray to me and i will listen to you you will seek me and find me you seek me with all your heart. I love you.